Right, so we're back again everyone. Sorry about that. Um, I realised halfway through the last sort of link that the radios were not working anymore. So I said, oh shoot. And um, then, uh, well you weren't with us anymore, but now you are with us. The radios are not working, so you can talk to us still, and it will be what's up to me. Any questions you have? Let's go and find out who this is. This is wonderful stuff to have just come around the corner and found a lion eating a beefalo. Clearly there has been some struggle during the night and I'm just going to quickly show you off to that side there. There is another lion. One of the Birmingham's one would assume. Let's go and see if we can identify which one this one is. And slowly we're getting some natural light on the scene. But it's still very dark. And the big thing to notice about this chap is he has a very nasty cut above his left eye. And this was a young buffalo. And I'm not surprised that they managed to catch one last night. I am quite surprised at the fact that he looks so dry. I mean, he looks like he's had his hair blow dry, doesn't he? Blow dried. Station is located two male lions on the junction sandy patch and buffalo sort of cut line. Animals are on a buffalo. Isn't that marvellous? Can anyone help me perhaps with an ID here? I, it's not, I don't think it's some Fumo and I'm pretty sure it's not Tinio either. It looks, I mean that looks pretty pale maned to me. Let's see, we have some comments coming through now. <laughs> Thank you Aaron. <laughs> I'm not going to reply, reply, <laughs> reply to your message. He's having a very good meal indeed. Oh, a pride shift. Sorry, <laughs> Kirsten, Kirsten typed wrong. Aaron, you're <laughs> I wish I could share this to you, but it's a, it's a bit one of those mistakes that uh, it's turned out quite rude, but but isn't actually rude at all. Right, Aaron in New Zealand, you want to know if I think there's a pride shift happening? I don't know. Well, I mean. Do you know who this is, Aaron? That looks like a fairly blonde male to me, and I don't think he's immediately recognisable. I suppose to some of you he might be, but that cut above his left eye is new. I think you're probably also referring to the shift of the Inkuhumas gone north and the sticks seemingly in this area here. You know what, there's another male dead ahead of us. In fact, both of them, there are two, there's a lioness and a male just in, ahead of us. Let's just keep going forward. This chap's not going to go anywhere. Let's just try and assess what's going on here. Aaron, I find it very interesting to find out what's going on here with, you know, with the two prides. It's, it's not the first time that the Nguhumas have gone north into the Manileti. It's not the first time that the sticks have come this far north, but it is unusual and I'm not really sure why it's happening. And I don't think there's going to be a, a you know, a pride, a shift in territory for prides is very unusual. Let's just have a look at this chap first. It's, it's extremely unusual that a pride would ever actually vacate an area completely. Normally, that only happens when there's a complete vacuum, when the entire pride gets wiped out by something, and then there'll be kind of a takeover. But otherwise, <laughs> whoops, otherwise the, the... You're right there, Craig. Otherwise, the territories tend to stay the same. Let's have a look at this chap. I'll just try and shed some light on his life. That ain't him full more either. Try and get in close on his face if you can, Craig. 
that's not some fumo. Look here, please, lion. We want to see which one you are. And go to sleep there. Right, Liz and Beck, you reckon that the first lion we were looking at there is Nsuko. Well, I would agree, given his blondy nature. So that's excellent. We've got Nsuku eating. I'm going to wager that this fellow here is Tinio. But I might be wrong. I haven't seen the other side of his face yet. Yes, come on. Look around. Hello? No. Okay, we'll have to move for him. Sorry about the light shift. Let me just try and move the car. And then there's another one in front of us. I just need to move carefully here because there's quite a lot of water logged on the ground. Right, now obviously we can't go in here, but I wonder if that over there isn't our friend Mfumo and Amber Eyes. Hmm, it's a lovely scene, isn't it? Just to train my binoculars. Hello Roger, you're wondering about how close they are to the Juma Pan. We seem to have our radio comms back up. Roger, they're a long way from the Juma Pan. They're probably a mile and a half, so just over two and a half kilometers. And they're at a place called Sydney's Dam at the moment right on the northern boundary so I can't get these guys are across the northern boundary I can't get close to them I'm not sure that that's some Fumo either actually huh. it will brighten up fairly shortly look over here if you wouldn't mind David can we look to this chap that's Tino there Yes, that's Tino. Right, sorry, this is <laughs> Craig, not Dave. I keep calling Craig David, I don't know why. I do apologize, it's no good at all. That's Tino. So we've got Tino and Nsuku. And I don't know that that one we were looking at on the right hand side is Mfumo, so maybe it's Nana. He's calling. That's her. That's not him calling. That's the lioness. And the reason I'm assuming it's Amber Eyes, of course, is that she was the one. She's still calling now. There she goes. That's him calling now. Thank you. 